Guys, part two right here. To those of you who watched part one, you already know what's happening. If you haven't, check it out. So here's the world that we used to live in. We used to live in a world where artists draw their creations on a piece of canvas and then they try to sell it. And whoever buys it, they buy the physical artwork and they put it on the wall and then their guests come over and they're like, hey guys, check this out, just purchase this artwork for a thousand bucks or whatever uh, by this artist and uh, this is um, oil on canvas and in this picture they have a depiction of uh, this, this and that and everybody's like, okay, yeah, that's really beautiful, so nice, uh, what's for dinner? And that's it. Now imagine if you show them the physical artwork, right? Then you take an iPad and through the iPad, it comes to life. Just like this. So what you're seeing right now is a 3D asset attached to a photo. When you open the application on the iPad or your mobile device and uh, the um, mobile device sees the photo through its camera, then it triggers the activation of the 3D asset. The 3D asset sticks to the surface and it looks like the painting comes to life. So as you can see, the rest of the room remains the same. And this is me just recording my screen on my iPad. There is no animation or anything in this video outside of the app. And that app is Artivive. Now Artivive is an augmented reality app that allows you to bring your artwork to life, just like you have uh, seen. There are a number of ways to do this. The way we just did it was through Tilt Brush. In Tilt Brush, we drew that whole scene and then we created the camera path. Camera path becomes a 3D asset and it gets dropped into a bridge, which I will tell you about later. But this is huge for animators. If you're an animator, then the world is yours because you can literally animate photos, pictures, artwork of other artists or your own and uh, turn the static art to life, just like you're seeing right now. Yes, it's done through a phone, and but that is soon uh, going to change with the introduction of more AR uh, glasses. Now, this is what it's, how this is done. This is Bridge. Artivive works through Bridge. Bridge is the simplest program ever imaginable. This is how it works. So you take a picture, you upload the picture to your left, you upload the video to your right and you hit done on the bottom and that's it. You're literally done. Now, if you want to go advanced and make your pictures 3D, such as this one, where it actually comes out of the picture, just like in our gallery in Los Angeles, then all you have to do is click 3D up top and it takes you to this page. Here you can upload three different animations and you can overlay them and let's say make the first layer come out one inch away from the painting, the second one two inches away, and the third one three inches away. And together they create a 3D effect. Here are some more examples of the artwork coming to life at our LA gallery. So really all you need is a picture and a video. And it doesn't have to be created in Tilt Brush, it could be an animation, or it could be a combination of Tilt Brush and something that you use After Effects for, such as this right here. The flames here are from Tilt Brush, and also uh, this next one is a great example where the tunnel is from Tilt Brush. You make a camera path going down a tunnel and put it together in After Effects. What I've seen done is someone take a picture of a flower and then make a video of the flower spinning. So through Artivive, the flower spins although the photo that is on the wall is of a static flower. But here's the cool part. Now, what have you created? You have created digital art that now you can sell as NFTs. So your 3D assets automatically become NFTs. And that's why if you're an animator, 
this video is very important for you. If you're not, that's fine, because there's many ways to bring artwork to life. But it doesn't end there. Let's say if you happen to own a light form, then you can project augmented reality projections onto the painting and have all these crazy AR effects be generated through light that expands the imagination of the viewer. And you might ask, uh, what well, Dan, what's so crazy about that? Well, if you position the projector at an angle, then you can actually get a flat on recording of the surface and turn that into a 3D asset then attached to your art device. Okay, here are some important notes. The dimensions of your picture and your animation has to be identical. Otherwise, you will see black gaps on the top and the bottom or on the left and the right. Second, the limit of the in-app recording video is 10 seconds, but it's, that's okay because you can just do screen recording, which is what I did when I was showing you the previous video of my snow home. Third, the max video size is 90 megabytes. Fourth, file format MP4. So MP4 is preferred. I tried MOV. MOV uh, gives me a lot more trouble. So MP4 is um, a much better option. Fifth, this is weird. Airdropping my corrupt the file. I take an MP4 file, I airdrop it to my iPad, and when I try to upload it into Bridge, some, for some reason it doesn't work. Then I take the same exact MP4 file, I email it to myself, I download it from my email onto my iPad, and it works. I have no idea why it does that, but there is a bug, and uh, most of the time it will give you trouble. Six, uh, so for the Artivive free account, you get three uploads and a total of 100 views in one year. So if you want more uploads, then you have to buy their paid package. If you have a lot of people, let's say you have a gallery, and so you have uh, over 100 people come through the gallery every single day, who pull out their phone and view your artwork through their phone, then you're gonna run into a problem. But in my case, it's if everyone who comes to my gallery, they use my iPad. So I literally have, I've, I've had maybe 80 people view my um, Artivive assets, but my views are only two because only two devices have been used to view the pictures and the artwork at my house, my phone and my iPad. So that's uh, one way around it. Lastly, if you own art, <laughs> you, that is yours, you own a money printing machine. Why? Now, this has always been the case, but now it has been the case more than ever. Because before, you let's say you paint something you have the original and then you can just make infinite copies of the original and sell the copies so you can literally sell copies and make money off of one painting for the rest of your life but you know it was um, great and all but everyone wants the original everyone is willing to pay big bucks for the original now the original doesn't really matter a whole lot because if they buy your high quality copy and they put it on their wall, it still comes to life through Artivive. So, and then in addition, so owning an original is still great, but the whole experience they still get to enjoy even with a copy of your original. So it makes more sense to make more copies. And also, now, what's cool about NFTs, you know, in real life, you have to actually print the copies. You have to have a printer, has to be high quality, have to roll it up, have to ship it and everything. NFTs, you just set the, the quantity. You can have one or you can have um, 50 or 50,000. 
right? And if you already created the animation for your picture, then you have that file. So you can sell the animation file, the MP4 file, as an NFT as many times as you want. So that's why now owning artwork is literally equivalent to owning a money printing machine. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Part three is coming up. In part three, we will talk about Tilt Brush. We will talk about virtual reality. We will talk about the whole experience, how it can substantially increase and benefit the purchasing decision of your potential customers and uh, why it is uh, something that has never been done before.